I'm now going to show you an example of some sampling um, techniques from um, an external source. Um, firstly, I will plug my uh, OPE1 into the computer, um, simply using the headphone output um, and the line in on the OPE1. Um, first I'm going to sample from uh, The New Sound of Music, a YouTube um, film that shows uh, a 1979 documentary from the BBC. Um, I'm going to put the um, OP1 into uh, drum mode um, and I'm going to make sure that it's selected to, um, to the uh, location 8 uh, for the purpose of this demonstration. When I press the microphone button you can now see that the external source is connected. Um, I've just set the trigger um, level high um, and I'm just going to test the input um, level just to make sure that I get a good signal. At the Queen Elizabeth Hall, London. The next item, our feature for unattended computer by Peter Zinoviev, is a true live performance in the sense that no magnetic tape is being used at all. Furthermore, so, I'm going to start the um, video running and then I'm going to press the sample button to capture um, the signal at the point I want it to start. Remember we're using the drum sampler so we've got 12 seconds of sample time. At the Queen Elizabeth Hall, London, the next item, our feature for unattended computer by Peter Zinoviev, is a true live performance in the sense that no magnetic tape is being used at all. Furthermore, the computer has a choice at various stages in the procedure and the piece therefore comes out different every time it's played. The performance you're about to hear is therefore unique and unrepeatable. First of all, checks are made. We've now got the sample um, captured um, and because it's on the drum uh, synthesizer, it's sampled um, sections from the 12 second main sample across the keys. First of all, first of all, check, first of all checks are made Compositions correct. Compositions correct. So now we can adjust the sample time. So if we go to the first key, the performance. The performance. and we'll just try to capture performance. The perform. The performance. The so now we've captured just the performance word on the first key. Uh, we can adjust the pitch if we need to. And we can continue to map across the other keys to um, adjust different uh, samples. You can just hear a small click at the end of that sample if we use shift and adjust the end point um, in a more um, fine tuning way by pressing shift and the control. We can remove that click. So after sampling across a number of keys um, you can do some more creative things like setting it up to the um, to the sequencer. Um, this is just an example, it's nothing set up specifically.